Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Alexa and today we're gonna talk about the money mindset that will make you richer. And yes, it is not something a lot of people talk about. Some people may think it's not as important, but I'm gonna tell you from my own personal experience, the moment I changed my money mindset and shifted and made sure that my financial thermostat was adjusted to the new level of success I was experiencing is when I truly started to excel. And I can't wait to share how you can do the same. All right, everyone, so let's get into what is a money mindset. A money mindset is a person's unique attitude and beliefs about money that can influence their financial decisions and goals. It can also affect how a person handles economic challenges, which we can't avoid. A proactive money mindset involves deliberate decisions about how every dollar is saved or invested. You have the power to direct the course of your financial future. Think about it. If you're only reacting and coming from a place of lack when it comes to money, you may not be making the best decisions because your head may not be clear, but a good money mindset or one that is of abundance will see opportunities everywhere and also you'll feel like you deserve the kind of money that art is coming into your world think about it has there ever been a time in your life where someone wanted to give you something and you were like no it's okay i i don't really deserve it right and it's some subconscious feeling that you don't deserve to be compensated for the skills and the value that you bring for example coming from a family who never really had a lot of money a lot of love but not a lot of money my mother always said just settle for what you have, right? That was the mindset that she grew up with. It was a very scarce mindset. And even when she started to earn more, it's, it, she ended up being in a position where she gave away things for free. It was weird and awkward for her to accept money because deep down inside, she didn't feel like she deserved it. And I love my mom more than anything in the world, but I didn't want that for myself and I do not want this for you. So I'm about to share with you five ways that you can start to shift your money mindset so you can start living a more abundant life. Number one is paying yourself first. Now this is an art and it doesn't just mean saving before you spend, but rather prioritizing contributions to your savings or investment accounts as soon as you receive any income. This strategy helps build wealth over time and secures your financial well-being. And I would say most importantly, it teaches you the fundamental that you psychologically are the most important person in your financial world. So before you pay your mortgage, before you pay your credit card bills or anyone else, you have to put money aside for yourself. And it doesn't have to be a lot, but it does have to come out first. See, one of the biggest mistakes people make is saying, well, when I find an opportunity, I'll start saving. I say it's better to be proactive than reactive. If you're consistently saving 5, 10, 20% of your income every single time you get a paycheck, guess what? When those opportunities come your way, you'll be ready and you won't have to start saving at that moment in time. And I know at first it may seem so strange. It may seem like, well, I can't even pay my bills. How am I supposed to pay myself first? But you would be surprised at what happens. That simple act of putting even 1% away before you pay all your bills is gonna give you a level of confidence that you may not have experienced before. And what you will start to learn is it's not the amount, it's the act and the habit of putting money away that is the most important thing. Okay, so now tip number two, once you've mastered paying yourself first, is assign each dollar a role. Understand the concept of giving your money a job. This approach means categorizing your income as soon as it arrives, whether it's for bills, savings, investments, or entertainment. By doing this, you ensure that your money is working towards your financial goals, not just sitting idly, right? So when it comes to giving your money a job, it also comes with the mindset shift that you don't work for money, money works for you. When it comes into your world, you get to decide what its job is, whether it is your emergency fund, whether it's investing in real estate, in the stock market, et cetera, et cetera. This will allow you to be in control and not let money control you. And what's gonna help make this easier is creating SMART goals. And you may have heard this before. SMART stands for specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and timely, so that you can make sure you're holding yourself accountable. Number three, save before investing. Save a significant portion of your income and invest it wisely. A good number to aim for is 20%. Once you have a significant amount in savings, you can use it to invest. Starting these habits early can lead to substantial financial growth due to the power of compounding interest and market gains over time. 
Now this is so important. I know people get excited and they wanna make their money work for them, but there is steps before that and saving is one of them. And 20%, listen, that's a great goal to aim for, but if you can't do 20, stick to something that you can be consistent with. It could be 10%, it could be 15, it could be five. Again, the habit is more important than the amount of money, at least in the beginning. Now you may say, well, what is the right amount of money to have before actually investing? Well, you wanna make sure that you sit down and you write down all of your expenses to just live your basic living expenses, multiply that by at least three to six. And once you have that baseline, you know that anything above and beyond that is money that you can safely invest without having to worry about running short. Now you may be a great saver and that may not be your challenge, but pulling the trigger to actually invest can be the scary thought. And listen, I understand, but I need to stress the importance that that is the part that you wanna graduate to. That is when your money starts to work for you without you having to actively trade your time for money. And that is where the exponential growth really starts to happen. Now you may have a lot of savings and feel secure in that, but just remember saving and investing are not the same thing. Saving is great, but it will not give you that exponential compounding growth over time that investing will. When all you're doing is saving into a traditional bank or even a high yield savings account, you have to make sure that you understand that there is inflation attacking your money, there is taxes, and there's lost opportunity costs of what you could have earned if you invested it appropriately. Tip number four is exactly what you're doing right now, getting educated. Becoming a savvy investor isn't an overnight occurrence, but the result of continuous learning and adapting. Proactive financial planning and preparation are key to making informed investment choices. A great way to start getting educated is through books, courses, videos, and or live seminars. Now, one thing you wanna make sure is you're always a student. There is no graduation to this. Even the best investors still have mentors, read books, take courses, go to seminars. And thank you for being here, by the way, and doing this for yourself. And if you stay till the end, I'm gonna share a special, special opportunity for you to go even deeper into your financial education journey. And let me just tell you, this is how I did it, because guess what? You don't know what you don't know. So you have to get in the room with people, into the minds of people who have been there, done that, so that you can really elevate and learn from their mistakes so you don't have to do them all on your own. Now, getting financially educated really resonates with me because it changed my life personally. There was a time in my life where I was pre-med, I wanted to be a doctor, and I was willing to take on massive amounts of debt just to go to school, not really understanding what kind of responsibility that would be. And it wasn't until I attended a live seminar, and most importantly, it opened my eyes to my earning potential and the kind of impact that I could have if I was in that position financially. I mean, at that point, what I had earned in a year, people were earning in a month, and it just blew my mind. Number five is about you today, taking action. Now, if you're watching this video, chances are you probably have to take action. See, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, and the second best time is today. Regardless of your age or current financial position, take immediate action. These steps are just a start to developing a strong money mindset, strong financial habits that can lead to long-term financial success. Start today and adjust your financial situation and goals as you evolve, right? We're always thinking about all the things that could go wrong and that stops us from actually taking the very first step. And truth is, things will go wrong. You will have to make shifts, you will have to pivot, but if you don't fail fast, you'll never succeed. Failure is inevitable if you're on your way to a successful financial future. So you might as well just get started now. Now, if you've made it this far, chances are you're probably wondering, so what's next? What is the action step that I should take? And I'm gonna give you a really easy one. Begin your education and you wanna start by clicking the link below in the description and getting your free copy of Surviving Success by Rob Gill. This is going to change your money mindset, give you the tools, the financial strategies that you need in order to take that next best step and create the financial future that you want. Thank you again for watching and just remember, grab a copy of your book. Something I love the most about this is that it is such an easy read. It's a relatable story. It's a biography that just opens your mind to the financial possibilities that you can have in your life. So don't miss out, I promise. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, and stay tuned to the next video.